I'm on my way to my first ever orienteering competition. Orienteering is a unique sport that involves both physical and mental challenges. It's thinking on the run. G'day, first time in an orienteering event? It is. Okay, well we'll take some information there. Thank you. Uh, if your cars are well parked, you can move over to the registration desk and someone else will help you along the next steps. Great, thanks very much. Sounds pretty simple. But I can't help noticing that all these people seem to be wearing some pretty serious racing gear. And all I brought with me is a pair of sneakers. And what are those funny little things they're carrying? I think I'd better ask someone. Excuse me, you look very professional. Could I ask you some questions? Yeah, sure. Um, first of all, what's with all the fancy clothes? Oh, well, this is what I wear around cheering. I've got my leg cover to stop myself getting scratches and then the nice lightweight top that I go running in. I'm in luck. It turns out that this is Ollie, an elite orienteer who has competed in many national and international competitions. <music> top orienteers use specialised orienteering clothing and shoes, designed for the rough terrain and thick forest that competitors often run through. I don't have those clothes, could I just wear something like a pair of shorts, would that be okay? Yeah sure, the shorts are okay and just wear whatever you think's comfortable to go running in. And what about my shoes, you've got special shoes, do I need them too? Uh, you'll probably just need some runners, something a little bit more supportive than those. Okay, that's fine. And is there any other specialised equipment I need? Uh, well you'll probably need a compass, you don't have to have a special thumb compass but just a base plate yeah. compass. And you'll also need an SI card that records your time. Now, I need those things and I have them. How do I get them? Well, if you come with me over to registration, I'll show you where to get them from. Thanks very much. Depending on the competition, I might also need an electronic timing chip that records whether I've been at each checkpoint, which is called a control. Some competitions use these chips to record competitors' times at every control, but others use them just for the start and finish. Today, I'll also need a special card that I mark with a punch, imprinting a unique pattern on the card at each control. So now I've got everything. I've got my map with the control descriptions. I've got my control card, which I'm going to use to check where I've been. I've got my timing chip, and I've got my compass. So that's all I need. Now I'm ready to go.